Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Peg City Chat with Nat. This is Natalie Bell. I am super excited and very honored to have a very awesome guest on my show today. This is a man who is not only a philanthropist, he's a speaker, TV host, author, restaurateur, he's a husband and father, but how we know him and how we've come to know him has been through his work as an entrepreneur. And that is because I'm talking to Bill Rancic, who was the Apprentice Season 1 winner with Mr. Donald Trump. Mm. Hello, Bill. How are you? Hey, Natalie. How are you? I'm fabulous. I'm so excited to be talking to you today. I said to myself, gosh, I don't know if I have just only 10 minutes. I wish I had 10 <laughs> hours. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have to come back and do, do more later, I suppose. I guess so. So... Let's get into the wonderful uh, nitty gritty before we talk about our dot com opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, when you were when you were on The Apprentice, what would you say are your top three takeaways from working with uh, Mr. Trump? Well, I, it's hard to just condense it to three, but I'll do my best. And, and I think first and foremost, uh, the one lesson I learned that I think is really vital is that you can't quit. And I think so many people, the minute times get tough, the minute they face obstacles or failures along the way, they, they put their arms up and they, and they just say, I give up. And that's not how you achieve success in life. You've got to be willing to dig deep. You've got to be willing to work harder than everyone else around you, be the first person in the office, the last one to leave, uh, and go after it with all your passion and all your might. And, and know that you're going to hit obstacles. There are going to be highs, there are going to be lows. But I think at the end of the race, most people look back who, who've crossed the finish line and they're glad that they did it. Yes, absolutely. So when we talk about being an entrepreneur, it's something that, you know, small business is, has come a long way. Most of the large corporations we have now have started as small businesses. That's right. And when we, when we think about the Internet, and I'm going to uh, date myself here, mm -hmm. <laughs> because the dot-com domain started when I was 10 years old, and we are at the 30-year anniversary, so yep. let's just put those two numbers together. Yep, well, I'm, I'm older than you, Natalie, so I'm, even, I'm feeling the pain more than you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when you think about it, wow, that's, I mean, you know, the Internet has been such a great way to evolve for small businesses as yeah. well. And so the dot-com opportunity or, or, or contest, I guess we could say right now, yeah. um, is, is pretty awesome for any budding entrepreneurs. And you're going to be one of the experts of this contest. So can you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure, yeah. Um, well, I partnered with the folks at VeriSign, and we've come up with a way to celebrate dot-com's 30th anniversary. And we are calling for anyone with an idea, anyone who wants to start a small business, anyone who has a small business, to go to verisigninternetofficial.com. And myself and, and four others are going to be judging. Whoever has the best .com can win up to $35,000. Now, when I say the word best, it's got to be original, it's got to be memorable, it has to be keyword rich. And we're going to judge. And, and each week, we're going to give away $5,000. And then on July 3rd, we're going to give away $30,000 to the grand prize winner. So I think it's wow. a great way to celebrate what dot-com has become over the last 30 years, how it's made uh, dreams come true. It's created billionaires. It's created millionaires. It's given people a voice, those who've had blogs and fashion sites and, and just helped people communicate with the world. It really uh, has changed the world, if you think about it, and made the world a much smaller place. Has it ever? I mean, my, when I started my blog uh, a few years ago, I the first thing I thought of was, oh, okay, well, I'm in Canada, I could do .ca, and I thought, no, you know, .com is where I need to be and where it's, I, it's I the original. Uh, where I live. You know, yeah, it's the original. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, just to remind everyone that's listening that the hashtag for this contest is Internet Official. And so if you follow along with that hashtag, you can find out all of the, the, the wonderful details that you need to know to enter. But what are, what are some ways that, you know, ent entrepreneurs can turn some of their ideas into hit products? I mean, w you know, the thought process, you have to be very creative, you have to be patient, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you don't want, hopefully, someone else taking your idea. So how, do, how does that creative process work when you want to turn your idea into something large? Well, you know, I, I think one of the things that I've learned along the way, and I've learned it the hard way, 
is that you have to check your ego at the door, right? Uh. So, so many people, they go in and they think, I want to be an entrepreneur, and, and they, you know, they, they feel very important and very big, and, and they try to do it all. And those are the people who end up here. Uh, I say those who learn how to conduct, and when I mean conduct, you think about the conductor of an orchestra, right? The conductor of an orchestra has all these expert musicians in his or her pit, and they get their, their musicians to play beautiful music. The conductor himself or herself can't play every one of those instruments, but they know how to make that beautiful music, and that's the same for entrepreneurs. When you try to play every instrument, the music's horrible. When you say, wait a minute, I don't know everything there is to know, but I'm gonna find the people who do, that's the, the people who really succeed, who, who have incredible success. And that's my advice to people is, you know, don't do it because you want to feed your ego. Do it because you're passionate about it, because you want to grow it, you want to find success. And, and that's when you will really uh, look back on your life and say, man, you know, life is something pretty special. Yes. And in addition to that, I just, I'll just throw in my own comment there. The fact that you have those supports and making sure you have some good cheerleaders around you. That's right. You want people who are supportive and who, who believe in what you do so that you can try to live your passion every day. Well, you know, and you, so you, when you, I, go ahead. I'm sorry, Natalie. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say you bring up a good point. You've got to be very careful who you surround yourself with. Uh, I read an interesting study, and it said the majority of the people we come into contact with on a daily basis are negative. Uh, it went on to say you're never going to be able to eliminate those people from your life, but when you're aware of what their intentions are, you negate their power. And there's always going to be those people who are jealous, who are envious, who feel the need to pull yeah. you down in order to build themselves up because you're doing something that they wish they could do. You're starting your business. You're creating your dot-com. You're doing business with the world, and they don't have that ambition. They don't have that drive, so the only thing they know how to do is to try to tug you down. That's right. And this, this, I think when people think entrepreneur, they're thinking, you know, a storefront. It's got to be a physical space. And what we're talking about today is the online realm. And it's important that no matter what type of entrepreneur you are and what type of small business or any business that you're trying to uh, start and initiate, that type of concept and those supports and that, that um, attitude that you need to have is transferable to no matter what business you're doing. You need to have a dot-com presence. You know, I'm in the restaurant business as well, and you know, we've got the brick-and-mortar restaurant, but we also have our dot-coms across the platform because it gives people uh, an opportunity to see what you're all about before they even walk in the door. They can go to uh, you know, rpmitalianshy.com and see the menu, see what the kitchen looks like, you know, yeah. make a reservation. It, it gives us instant credibility, and it says, hey, Look, this is what you, you can expect when you come to one of our restaurants. I think credibility is a great word because yes, right. anyone and their mother, I think, could uh, sign up a .com domain and start something. But it's those folks that, like you say, bring the credibility to it that we follow or that we want to be a part of or that we want to support or purchase from. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really key as well. That's right. You, know, you have to have credibility. You know, your reputation is everything in business. So when I think of, you know, your reputation and your cheerleaders and your supports for you personally, Bill, mm -hmm. I think of the fact of you being a father and a husband. And of course, Juliana, obviously, your beautiful wife is a huge supporter of your, of your work and yep. everything that you're doing. And I just have to give you a little fun fact because okay. uh, it's, 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 it's pretty awesome. So on April 23rd, 2012, is the day you announced, you and Juliana announced that you were expecting. Wow. And April, April 23rd, 2012, is the day I gave birth to my son. Oh, my goodness. So that's, that's a fun our, fact. Sons, <laughs> <laughs> our sons are exactly like four months apart. So I just thought that was cute. Duke and Jace are four months apart. That's amazing. Wow. Well, uh, it's, yeah. it's a fun age right now, isn't it? It's something really special. And Oh, I just, I love every, every minute I can spend with our, our little guy, Duke. Oh, and it's wild, isn't it? It's yeah. amazing how they grab on and, and, and just feel and, and know everything that you're doing, and they can communicate with you now. It's he is, crazy. Uh, my, our guy, I mean, he is just sharp. He doesn't miss much. It's incredible. He's sharp <laughs> as a tack. And now we have to be careful what we say around him because, you know, he's repeating everything, and... You know, the other day I, I may have accidentally cursed when I, you know, I got, almost got into an accident. And sure enough, boy, he, he went home and Juliana was asking me how he learned that word. So <laughs> I, was in, I was in the doghouse. 
<laughs> yeah, I bet. Well, I know as we wrap up here, I just want to say um, thank you so much. But I, I do want to um, perhaps ask you to make one last comment about um, these entrepreneurs and those folks in the dot com and those folks who are, are budding entrepreneurs and how important it is for family and to stay grounded. And that's kind of why I brought up the, the uh, husband and father yeah. um, point, because it's so important to have that, uh, you know, humbleness as well. Yeah, you know, for, for us, uh, you know, we have a lot of things going on, but we have one rule, and that's family first. And that rule yes. doesn't get compromised, it doesn't get negotiated, uh, family's first. Without that, we have nothing. Uh, without that, you know, everything we're working towards means nothing. So we, we value that uh, immensely. Um, and, you know, I certainly encourage, you know, your listeners and viewers to, to do the same. Um, but with that said, Natalie, I hope you're such a nice woman. I, I hope... Uh, one of your listeners wins the, the $35,000. Wouldn't that be something? I hope so, uh, too. Yeah. Uh, I, once again, go to verisigninternetofficial.com, and uh, they have till the end of April to, uh, to get involved in the contest. And uh, I promise we'll go easy on the judging. We're not, we're not <laughs> as tough as uh, some of the judges you see on TV. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you're a busy man, and the next time I'm in Chicago, I'm tweeting you and I'm looking you up, just uh, so you know. We'll, we'll Maybe we see, can get a play date with the boys. <laughs> we'll see you in Chi-Town. You bet. Thank okay. you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.